السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد My dear brothers and sisters We are very close to the month of Ramadan Which we expect inshallah to start this coming Friday We will know inshallah by Thursday If Ramadan is going to start inshallah on Friday However, this month of Ramadan for this year might be a little bit different from the past Ramadans, from the previous years. However, my dear brothers and sisters, what we used to do during the month of Ramadan, we are going to do it exactly during this month of Ramadan, inshallah ta'ala. We're going to fast, inshallah. We are going to do the Qiyam al layl the Taraweeh, the Tahajjud. Inshallah, we're going to read Quran. Inshallah, we're going to give in it charity. And we're going to help those who are in need of help. And we're going to do the normal things that we used to do every month of Ramadan. However, <coughs> Maybe the only difference that we might have during this month of Ramadan is we will not be able to gather in the masjid for iftar. We will not be able to gather in the masjid for the taraweeh or for the tahajjud or for the other social activities that we used to do in the month of Ramadan in the masjid. However, everything else, we're going to do it. Fasting. Qiyam, reading the Quran, everything else we are going to do it. Absolutely there is no difference between this month of Ramadan and the past or the previous Ramadans except in that aspect of just gathering in the masjid and um, socializing and uh, having iftar together in the masjid and uh, having taraweeh together in the masjid but everything else is going to be the same. And we might have a chance this year to do the taraweeh and the salawat with our families and with our children. And maybe we have a chance this year to teach them and educate them. And maybe we have a chance this year to get, inshallah, closer and closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And overall, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his wisdom behind everything that is happening. However, I would like also to highlight today some points and few things that all of us we have to observe when we get ready for the month of Ramadan. One of these things, we have to make sure that we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We repent to Allah Azza wa Jal as Allah says in the Quran. وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Repent, all of you, together, all of you, believers. Go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Fix your situation and your relationship with Allah Azza wa Jal. تُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ the main uh, reason for success and the main way for success in this dunya and in the hereafter is to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to this ayah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the one who is more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than anyone else. The one who was infallible and sinless. He used to make tawbah his habit. He said in his hadith, which is narrated by Al-Aghar ibn Yasar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, 
يا أيها الناس توبوا إلى الله فإني أتوب إلى الله فإني أتوب في اليوم إليه مائة مرة أو مائة مرة The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said in his hadith O oh people repent to Allah سبحانه وتعالى because I repent to Allah a hundred times every single day if we ask ourselves my dear brothers and sisters this question how many times we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day if we ask ourselves this question how many times we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day we might be doing it just a few times the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam the best of the human beings the closest one to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used to do it a hundred times every single day. Can you imagine that? Repentance means to admit our mistakes and our sins to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to regret what we have done, to feel guilty about it and to determine not to go back to these sins and these mistakes. And on the top of that, if we had done anything wrong to anyone, we have to ask the forgiveness of this person before he or she comes on the day of judgment and takes from our good deeds and we end up being bankrupt from our deeds and our actions on the day of judgment. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the first step to get ready and to prepare for the month of Ramadan. The second step is to make sure that we are getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the dua and the supplication. And this is my dear brothers and sisters in the ayat that talk about the month of Ramadan and the fasting in Surah Al-Baqarah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala included in these ayat telling his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and this is a message for every Muslim. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانَ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ If my servants ask you, O Muhammad, صلى الله عليه وسلم, about me, I am close to them. I am very near to them. I respond to the supplication of the one who supplicates to me. Let them respond to me. Let them accept my call of worshipping me and not associating a partner with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As he says in this ayah, and let them believe in me so that they will be guided. So my dear brothers and sisters, the uh, Salaf, the companions of the Prophet ﷺ and their followers, the righteous predecessors, used to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala six months before the month of Ramadan, asking Allah to grant them life and health so they can reach the month of Ramadan. كانوا يسألون الله أو يدعون الله ستة أشهر أن يبلغهم رمضان. And after the month of Ramadan, they used to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for five months that Allah accepts their actions during the month of Ramadan. So, <clears throat> six months before the month of Ramadan, they used to ask Allah to give them the life and the health so they can reach it this month. And five months after the month of Ramadan, they used to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept what they have done during the month of Ramadan of the good deeds and the righteous actions. My dear brothers and sisters, we will get ready also for the month of Ramadan by becoming happy about it. We have to be happy about welcoming this month. We should not show any kind of displeasure or any kind of impatience during the month of fasting but we have to show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are pleased and we are happy with the month of Ramadan. Allah says in the Quran, Kul bi fadlillahi 
وبرحمته فبذلك فليفرحوا هو خير مما يجمعون سيء محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم with the bounty and the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by the mercy of Allah azza wa jal let them rejoice, let them be happy this is much better for them than what they have been collecting and what they have been accumulating قل بفضل الله وبرحمته فبذلك فليفرحوا هو خير مما يجمعون so be happy to welcome the month of Ramadan and be pleased with the fasting with the charity that you give, with the help that you offer to the people, with the recitation of the Quran, with the salah that you're going to perform, everything, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He listens to us, and He hears us, and He answers our supplication, our dua, and He accepts our worship, whether we do it in the masjid, or we do it at home, or we do it anywhere else, the only difference, as I said in the beginning, is that we will not be able to gather in the masjid because of the health situation and the problem that we have nowadays. We don't want anyone to be harmed. But everything else we're going to do, inshallah, in Ramadan, as we used to do every single year. But ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept the uh, ibadah, the worships. And my dear brothers and sisters, the conditions of accepting the ibadat or the uh, worship by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is number one, we have to be sincere in our worship. Number two, we have to make sure that we are doing it according to the way that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to do it. As he commanded his companions and he guided them by saying, Sallu kama ra'aytumuni usalli. Pray as you have seen me praying. And he told them also in the Hajj, خُذُوا عَنِّي manasikakum, Take your rituals from me. My dear brothers and sisters, also welcoming the month of Ramadan, we have to make sure that we are fixing the relationships with everyone. We have to make sure that we are purifying and cleaning our hearts from all kinds of bad feelings, all kinds of grudge, all kinds of envy all kinds of hatred and all kinds of bad things and evil and we make sure that the month of Ramadan is coming to us while, while we are all of us we are pure and clean and we are ready to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as he should be worshipped also from the things that we have to make sure that we are preparing for the month of Ramadan is to equip ourselves with the knowledge and especially with the rules of fasting and especially with the teachings and instructions and the guidelines for fasting and also for the qiyam and for reading the Quran and all kinds of ibadat that we do during the month of Ramadan and my dear brothers and sisters I'm available all the time and um, we are going inshallah to um, uh, talk more and more about the rules of fasting and the etiquettes of fasting and the recommend recommendations of fasting and whatever is needed for this month. But if you have any question at any time, please feel free to email me, imammajidfrizno at gmail.com or to contact us via the phone number of the masjid, which is 559-222-6686 or my cell number 559-222. 273-3672. We also have the YouTube channel and our website of the masjid and it's updated with all the information. And these days, even I am, I know that there is no jama'ah prayer in the masjid, but I am sending the iqama updates to remind everyone with the iqama time that this is a time for the isha, this is a time for the fajr, this is a time for the maghrib, this is a time for the asr, for the dhuhr. So we will all be reminded with these Iqama times. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the things that we need to make sure to do for the month of Ramadan, and I am sure that this is going to be doable for everyone because we have the chance and the opportunity to do that, is to sit with the family, with the children, and teach them and educate them 
and give them all the instructions and the teachings about the month of Ramadan. If you were in the habit of doing anything during the past uh, Ramadan, please do not stop this habit. If you were in the habit of doing the, uh, the, the, the prayer in Jama'ah, you can still do the prayer in Jama'ah at home. You were in the habit of helping other people with the iftar, you can still do that through the masjid or by yourself. You can still help the people with the iftar. If you are in the habit of giving in a charity, still you can give in a charity. All the actions and all the deeds that we used to do in Ramadan, we can still do them in this month of Ramadan. Or maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has his wisdom behind all what's happening. So, my dear brothers and sisters, get ready for the month of Ramadan. Be happy about it. Welcome it with pleasure and try your best to benefit and to take advantage of this month as much as you can. This is my message and this is my advice for myself and for all my brothers and sisters as we are approaching the month of Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our prayer, our dua, and all kinds of worship that we do for his sake. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us from those who listen to the words and follow the best of them. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-huda wa al-tuqa wa al-afafa wa al-ghina wa min al-amal ma tarda bi rahmatika ya arham al-rahimin. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa ant. أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والعصر إن الإنسان لا في خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته